So that's one of the targets, um, Shoot, Steal, Sin Amanda in hot pink. And uh, that was very cool. They sent, they, you know, we have a lot of targets as you guys have seen. And this got out there at one of the parties and it, it shouldn't have been out there, but one of our guys shot holes through it with a 300 Weatherby Magnum. So Amanda was kind of bummed about it. Carrie um, had seen it and said, hey man, we can make an end table out of that. Well, I pictured he was just gonna put four legs on it and call it a table with a piece of glass over it. And uh, this is what showed up and it's way cooler than what I'd envisioned and he totally, again, killed it. And it matches you know, her desk and her office and a bunch of other stuff that he's done. So. Um, I just wanted you guys to see this. That's what happened to that target that you guys saw that um, Caveman had shot Pulse through. And uh, say something. Yeah, man. Um, I don't know. It's, it's it turned out to be a pretty fun project, really. Uh, the chain's awesome. Just to, yeah, just to have it suspended. Um, you know, if you take the glass off, you can probably go shoot some more holes through it if you wanted to right now. But uh, it's um, it turned out really well. Um, I think. Um, I think it was a, it was just a little difficult to get the angle I think on it, um, but if you if you kind of when you look at the table and you can show it from either side, so you can have it one way with a with a clear lettering or the other side with all the pits and the bullet holes and everything through it. So um, yeah, it turned out really well. I think yeah, it's awesome. So Southern Rust Furniture is his Facebook page, and um, I'll put it in the description. And Southern Rust Furniture Design <coughs> is his Instagram. Um, he does a lot of trade shows and stuff. Your stuff's awesome, um, but you got to show up, you know, to one of the shows to get his stuff, or contact him through his through his uh, Facebook page. Yeah. But he sells out. Like we go, we show up to a show at 10 o'clock in the morning. That's open, you know, an hour before we get there, and all of his shit is sold. Like literally every piece yeah. is just sold out. It's very sought after. And I um, I encourage people if they have stuff, if you're shooting steel and you've got holes in it or you know pit where you can't use it anymore, don't throw it out. You can always do something like that, and you can call me and. Um, we can we can get you something really really cool. Well, if you got some old piece of it. you know war metal or something, yeah. some some piece of something sitting in the farm at grandma's house or just something cool that's been in the family, and you want to utilize it in a piece of furniture, he's, he's great with that stuff. If you just got something that's been passed down generation after generation, and you want to utilize it in something that you can use and see every day, you know he, he's great with that stuff. So definitely check him out. I love doing it. Now we gotta do a snake table. Yeah. The drawers will pull out so we can have Christmas snakes and Halloween snakes. <laughs> Easter snakes. Easter, Easter snakes. snakes, yes. Summer snakes, Fourth of July snakes. I like America snakes. That sounds like a good idea. America snakes? America snakes. I haven't seen many blue snakes float around. <laughs> I bet you we can find one. Yeah. <laughs> so you're doing. You're doing bigger stuff. You're, you're about to buy a trailer now. You need a, a bigger trailer. Buying a, buying a bigger trailer. I've been using a 10-foot horse trailer. I'm looking for. Uh, I'd like to have another horse trailer. Get it. Get it about 15. You know, 15 to 18 feet. If I can keep it 18 feet, I have to gooseneck, but uh, that's okay with me. But uh, yeah, I'm, I'm going to these shows and I'm selling out and don't have enough product to actually make it through a weekend at a show. So I've got to get more into a trailer. And, out of the back if I can. And you're, about, and you're about, to, about to become a full-time job? Yes, it'll be 100% uh, full-time fairly soon. So um, uh, it's uh, it's been a long time and building, um, those of you who started businesses, you know it's it's, it's, uh, it's tough, but it's also one of the best things I think I've ever done in my life. And it's, uh, it's getting to the point where I'm, I am straight up full-time. It's easier to get up in the morning and go to that job oh, than the other job. I can lose 12 hours in my shop welding and building and working with wood and everything else and not even notice it at the end of the day. Yeah, I still want to do more at the end. So. Yeah. Awesome, man. Well, we just wanted to show this. And it's awesome. Thank you, guys. Yes. Over there. Glad you guys like it. Cool, cool man. All right, turn that shit off.